Jesse. All right, beach number four. I do know this one. Oh, okay. All right, you want to dive right in? Okay. challenge because part of what makes them really dry is that that but you want a different kind of dry sound on Stravinsky um, can you get more of a da, okay, da, rather than da, rather than biting the end of it so that it's it's a little bit I'm not sure if resonant is the right word but it doesn't have that same shape on the back end of the notes that's taking away from the line in this, if that makes sense. Does that sure. make sense? Okay. Let's try it again from the top, this couple of lines. <laughs> Stravinsky-like, to still feel a real continuity through the whole line. Like the first note is an eighth note, and you're playing it. I like the length that you're you're playing it as an eighth note rather than just random short note, right? Okay. 
but can we hear that it's going forward a little bit? Okay, I don't want you to try and micromanage the notes too much, but let's try this. Play it with no tongue at all, and, and no rest, just, you know, rest where they make sense. Like, breathe right there, breathe, um, breathe right there, okay? But just, mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, like, tongue the first notes, the first notes of the phrase, but everything else blow through. Yeah. 
Okay. Now go back and what do you see as the function of articulation? Let's take the last part of your sentence and explain it a little more in a certain way. Uh. <clears throat> so they don't all have to be the same, right? No. That's where we get color, right? That's where we get color and shape and texture and all of those cool things in musical lines through the articulation, right? So if you've got the shape you want in your line and you have your air flowing, which 99% of the time when things aren't working, it's because our air is not doing what we want it to. Then you go back, you get your air doing what you want it to, and you add the color of the articulations that you want. It's like you open your toolbox or your giant box of like 483 crayons, and they have the coolest colors now, like in crayons. They're just astounding how bright and just neon and all. And you can just pick whatever one you want. And you do that with your articulation on top of your air. Does that make sense? OK. So all right. So now just put the color in. Go back and articulate the second one. With a, with a fuel, then when you do those different things and you get the really cool seco notes, and then you get that nice accent at the end that you're laying ring a whole lot, there's a lot more difference. The colors really jump out. Okay? Keep going. Um, next line, and I want you to th just think about blowing through like you did with no tongue at all. Just keep that kind of air and then splash the color on top. No, that, that, let's just go for it, okay? Just go for it. <laughs> Because it just did it, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, that's brilliant. 
So don't be afraid of those things and just boom and figure out like really how to get it like that. Okay? That's probably 10 minutes. Probably 10 minutes. <laughs>